All right, so we've uh, chosen our template. We've edited the content of the template. We've styled it to match our brand. Uh, and now we're getting ready to, to launch our site. So before you do that, you want to go through each one of your pages uh, and go to the settings and go to the SEO tab. And you want to make sure that what shows up here makes sense. So this is going to be your SEO title and your SEO description. This is what shows up in your search engine results. Uh, so you want to make sure that for each page, you have something that uh, is relevant uh, and that someone who would be uh, searching for the content that would be found on that page, that when they see your result in the search, you know, they want to click on it because it's like, oh, yeah, I want to know the story about nonprofit kids, for example. All right. So once you've done that, um, you're pretty much ready to launch the site. There's a couple more settings you'll want to play with. Uh, one of those is business information. That's where you'll add your business location, contact information. <clears throat> you also might want to add some social links. And that's what would show up down here or anywhere that you add uh, social media links to a page. And then finally, you want to get your domain. Now, before you get your domain, you should go ahead and subscribe. And this is when you're going to pay for your site. And the reason I say to hold on the domain is because if you get either the business or one of these two commerce plans, a uh, domain, you get a free custom domain. Actually, for all plans, you get a free custom domain, as you can see here. Um, and that's when you pay annually. So it breaks down to... Uh, 960 a month or 1440 a month or what the numbers you see here uh, but you're actually paying that times 12. now if you were just to pay on a month to month basis then it would be what you see here all right and in this case you don't get a free custom domain so save a little bit of money by paying annually and you get that free custom domain so i'm going to just hit select here so you can see uh, how this works and then you put your information in um, since I'm a circle member there's an additional discount uh, that I get but if you're watching this video um, you should find a code somewhere near uh, where you can save 10% yourself so by the time you've done that now you're ready to select your domain and remember it's going to be free if you get an annual plan and you can see here nonprofitkids.com is actually available and so i could just uh i would use that and then to make my site public to the world i would go to the site visibility and change it from private uh and pub to publish now obviously to publish i have to upgrade and that's well, I just showed you with the different pricing options. So there you have it. Um, once you've done that, your site is now live and ready for you to share with the world.